Hey everybody, what's up? Kyle Buckland here with the Artful Souls. Um, I'm outside today. It's another beautiful spring day and uh, just enjoying the sights and the sounds and um, wanted to do a little video. Um, I thought this would be a great setting for doing these Artful Soul art musing videos. One moment. Had to fix the composition. Didn't want that dead chair drawing your eye over to the corner there I want to keep uh, keep all the focus into the center of interest so um, I'm outside I was saying it's so beautiful out I always say go outside the uh, graphics are awesome so you see my my beautiful display behind me uh, in high definition real life graphics doesn't get any better than this but uh, so anyway I want to talk to you today a little bit about overcoming resistance um, I know that there's a tendency when you first start painting you'll find that you get really excited uh, with your first painting or your first couple paintings and then you might find that after a little while that initial excitement can fizzle out a little bit and then you find yourself coming up with reasons why you shouldn't paint or you can't paint today but maybe you'll paint tomorrow and there's hundreds of these reasons and I'm here to tell you that there will always be a couple things that come into your mind and say oh you don't have this or um, you know maybe you don't have time or the weather is not perfect or um, you know but but you, what you have to do is just plow right on through those um, and those are what I call resistance it, and we can see this in other parts of our lives too not just in painting but um, you know there's often a thing that we want to do and uh, it seems like getting started is harder than actually doing the thing and the reason for that is because um, the inspiration and the motivation often comes out of the work itself so there's a quote by Picasso where he says that inspiration exists but it has to find you working and I really enjoy that quote because it, it really talks um, essentially about the, the, the truth that um, a lot of times you know the, the that when an artist begins the work they might not feel as inspired as once they get into it um, so the, the real challenge and the way to bypass the need for inspiration and motivation is to make it easy to start painting um, and there's a couple very solid ways that you can do that um, one way is to make sure that you're always cleaning your materials when you're finished painting uh, try not to put it off um, you know, because then what will happen is the next day when you decide you want to go paint, you'll look and you'll say, oh, never mind, my brushes are dirty, my palette's dirty, and um, essentially if you go too long without washing your brushes out, you're going to ruin your brushes. Um, and so it's really hard to restore them once the oil paint has dried in them. So try to get in the habit of making cleanup part of your initial routine. So when you're, when you're, um, when you're painting it, you know, it's kind of linked into the end of your painting session is you, oh, you clean up your brushes. And then organize your materials um, and put them back in the same place. Uh, now that kind of leads into another way, and I was going to talk a little bit about this. Um, if it's possible for you to have a studio space, uh, if it's just a room in your basement, a corner of the kitchen even, but some space where you can have all your art supplies um, ready to go. Uh, this is helpful because if you end up putting your easel in your basement and then you stuff your paints in a closet somewhere and then you have to go round up all your stuff, um, you know, that's going to make it harder to start painting. So try to have um, a place, you know, where, where all your stuff is easily accessible to you so that when you want to go paint, you don't have to go round up a bunch of supplies. Another way to, um, to make it easy to start painting is to have a set of clothes that is specifically for painting that you, you don't worry about getting paint on these um, and if you paint a lot like me you can have a set of clothes that's specifically for not getting paint on and <laughs> that seems to be how it is more more uh, more than less these days and there's a funny funny saying that artists have two kinds of clothes they have paint clothes and then they have soon to be paint clothes <laughs> so uh, but try to keep them separate either way so that way when you wake up in the morning on a day that you want to paint when you put on your paint clothes uh, a lot of times just getting into the uniform, you know, you put on your, your uh, nice artsy looking painting clothes that you've gotten paint all over and you just you just feel a little bit more motivated to, to get at it. So um, see if that doesn't help. And then another bonus to that is when you're finished painting and you're finished cleaning your brushes and you want to reward yourself with that nice cup of tea or cup of coffee, uh, you can take off your paint clothes and put on your, your clean clothes and then kick back on the couch and have, have that cup of tea or cup of coffee and not worry about getting paint all over the furniture. So, so it's really nice because it really signals to your brain that okay it's time to relax now I'm done working. I'm going to take off my paint clothes and put on my nice clothes. So, uh, 
so tr try that out and um, you know I, I, I understand that it uh, it can be difficult when you're first starting and I really want to orchestrate these videos so that um, you can get over that hump that learning curve because I remember it very well when I first started painting I was a teenager I had no idea what I was doing I knew that I loved going outside and painting but I really did produce some some crazy looking paintings and I look back on them and sometimes just laugh and and um, you know I was fortunate enough to, to have this little inkling of a feeling that that next painting uh, was always going to be better than the one I had just done uh, so that kept me pushing forward and what happens eventually is if you practice so hard you can become inspired by your own ability uh, and then you'll never run out of inspiration so um, you know I've been working at painting long enough now that when I get up to the easel I'm really every time I step up to the easel I'm excited about what's getting ready to happen uh, so part of part of the inspiration and motivation can come just from uh, your excitement about your own abilities and this will happen um, you know it's it, it can be slow at first but I guarantee you that if you if you work through it um, and and don't focus so much on results but put put most of your energy in perseverance and in continuing to to make paintings and to start paintings and 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 to um, get ideas out on canvas uh, it's inevitable that your work will improve and that you will eventually become inspired by your own ability to paint um, this is a natural law uh, the more you work at something the better you're gonna get at it and um, this is you know not limited to people who are extremely gifted or or have some kind of innate ability at art because they were born with it um, you know that might be true in some cases but it doesn't mean that you have to have that to excel in painting I believe that anybody can can paint paintings that they're proud of um, it basically boils down to um, are you willing to put in the time and and stand behind the easel in the hours you know working working with uh, with paint and pushing paint around so um, and and have fun doing it I think that's important that's part of the perseverance if you're not having fun you're not gonna want to keep doing it so make sure that you're not getting too uptight about the results um, you know share your art with others and then take what they say with a grain of salt and know that you're just doing it because you love it and uh, keep doing it um, so thanks so much for everybody that's viewing the videos. I'm humbled and overwhelmed by the uh, response that I've gotten and all the wonderful messages and comments. People tell me that um, I've really helped inspire them. That really makes me happy because I wanted to try to deliver all this information in a very approachable way, but without watering it down too much. So I'm excited to hear that it's working for people. Um, I'm going to be working on another um, demonstration video. and I'll have that probably up on the channel sometime tomorrow, so check that out. And um, if you're new to the channel, if you like to um, keep up with the videos, you can click subscribe and click the, the bell icon for to receive email notifications um, for when I post new videos. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Kyle Buckland. Um, and then check out the links in the description. I've got a couple websites there, my fine art website where you can view and purchase paintings. And then I've also got a Patreon site uh, where you can go and, and become a patron of the, the channel if you'd like. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you back with the next demo. Have fun.